Mr. Cabernet, Mr. Cab Cabernet, Mr. Cabernet, Mr. Cab Cabernet. I wanna invite you. Hey yo, what's shaking, y'all? I am Cab Cabernet, lifestyle connoisseur, and welcome to another episode of Cab Cabernet's Wine of the Day, a division of Crush Grapes TV. And if you don't know by now, Crushed Grapes is a lifestyle. What's shaking? How y'all doing today? Um, today we want to taste uh, a, another Bordeaux. As you know, I love Bordeaux. Uh, today we're going to taste a red one though. Um, and uh, I just want to drop, you know, a couple of jewels on you before you start asking me why I'm tasting reds in the summertime. Um, uh, also, this is a little chilled, as you can see, the sweat on the, um, on the bottle. And because contrary to popular belief, you're not really supposed to drink red wine at room temperature unless the room temperature is, you know, around 60 degrees or, or, you know, around that area. Um, you gotta understand in, in certain regions of the world, room temperature is 60 degrees. It's not, you know, in New York City right now, it's, it's 80 degrees in the room. So you're not gonna drink it at 80 degrees, you understand? So you can put it in the fridge, chill it for like an hour or so, take it out, and uh, you'll be around 60, uh, 60 degrees, which is, perfect for this climate to be drinking this red wine. It actually um, is uh, very good. So now we got that out the way. We're, we're drinking a red wine in summertime. Yes, it's chilled. Yes, both of those things are okay. Check. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so let's get down to the actual wine. This is a uh, 2013 uh, Chateau Big Top is the house, and um, this is uh, it says death defying blends of stupendous proportions. Can you dig it? And um, Bordeaux is interesting, you know, uh, again, it's the foremost winemaking region in, Fran in France for uh, a few different reasons, but this region is broken up into two different banks. You have the the left bank and the right bank, okay? Um, Bordeaux's traditionally um, are a blend of Cabernet Sauvignon and Merlot. Um, sometimes you might find an off blend with like, you know, uh, Cabernet Sauvignon with a Cabernet Franc, with a Merlot, with a Malbec, with, you know, a, you know, a Syrah once in a while, but most of the time, it's a simple cab Merlot blend. Now, depending on, okay, I can't talk to you right now. Pardon me. So depending on uh, what bank the Merlot is made, what, what bank the house sits on, the left or the right bank will depend on how much mer more Merlot than Cabernet is in the particular Bordeaux and vice versa. So the left bank, it, it tends to have more Cabernet Sauvignon than Merlot. The, the right bank tends to have more Mer, uh, Merlot than Cabernet. The right bank uh, also is a, a lot more uh, softer and, and like less tannic and uh, lower in alcohol and acidity usually. Um, but because Merlot is the dominant grape of the right bank, uh, you'll get more uh, more juicy fruit, and um, usually a lot less expensive than the left bank as well. So this cabinet, I'm sorry, this uh, this Bordeaux happens to be a Cabernet Sauvignon Syrah blend. There's actually no Merlot mentioned. So let's get into this um, Chateau Big Top. dark, uh, foggy, ruby red, because uh, 
because of it, it, it being chilled, you're gonna get a little fog on it, and that's fine. Um, juicy red fruits, ripe red fruits, uh, cherries, blackberries, strawberries, schnozberries. <laughs> Remember that uh, Charlie the Chocolate Factory shit? Schnozberries. So I don't, I don't smell schnozberries. I'm just bugging, but. I always thought that was funny. Um, uh, black currant. Yeah, let's check it out. Yeah. Big, uh, big alcohol content. Uh, you can feel it in, in, your, in your mouth, man. Uh, melting your gums. No, <laughs> just no, no, really. 13.5% alcohol. It's uh, pretty balanced. Um, but the Syrah seems a little young. The Cab seems more uh, more dominant. Uh, it doesn't say the percentage of Cab and Syrah, so I'm just going to guess that there's more Cab and Syrah. Um, so let's say that this is the left bank because there's usually more cab than Merlot. I'm not sure. Uh, I just wanted to taste it um, and, and break down the, the different banks for you. Um, as far as bang for your buck, this is around six, seven bucks, eight bucks, I think. You know, so it's pretty good. Definitely uh, worth your while on the budget tip. And um, yeah, everyday, good everyday drinking Bordeaux, red Bordeaux. Again, a little different. It's a cab Syrah instead of a cab Merlot. And um, pair this with, uh, you know, a burger, a uh, cheeseburger, a uh, turkey burger, um, you know, or any, you know, red meat or, or, or strong, you know, uh, white meat uh, and, 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 or spicy vegetables if you're not a meat eater. Um, this will soak it all up. Tomatoes and things like that, sauces. So, uh, once again, Chateau Big Top 2013, Bordeaux. I am Cab Cabernet. This is Cab Cabernet's Wine of the Day, a division of Crushed Grapes TV. And if you don't know by now, Crushed Grapes is a lifestyle. Sip it slow. Cheers. Or as they say in France, santé. Mr. Cabernet, Mr. Cab 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 Cabernet.